Prepare Excel Workbook. Hi, I hope you are doing well. In this tutorial, we will prepare Excel Workbook so that it can save VBA macros. Take a new Excel Workbook, as macro cannot be saved in normal Excel file. To make it ready to save macros, go to File menu and press Save as option. In New Window, select Save as Type, Excel Macro Enabled Workbook, and press Save button. Now you will be able to save macros within Excel Workbook. This workbook has extension XLSM. We do not need this old Excel file. How to show Developer tab in Excel The Developer tab isn't displayed by default, but you can add it to the ribbon. On the File tab, go to Options. Press Customize Ribbon. Under Customize the Ribbon and under Main Tabs, Select the developer checkbox. Press OK. After you show the tab, the developer tab stays visible, unless you clear the checkbox or have to reinstall a Microsoft Office program. Create a form to get the user input. To handle the individual headings in a memo or master document, we will insert checkbox for each heading. An extra checkbox also added for the Select All option. Checkboxes are inserted by going to the Developer tab. Within Controls group, click Insert. Select a checkbox from ActiveX Controls. By pressing Properties button, you can change the name and caption of individual controls. Name and caption of checkboxes must be assigned intelligently because we will use them in VBA code. So it should have, length of characters must be equal. There should be sequential integer at the end, which will be used in for each loop. For example, H1, H2, H3. Caption should have the same text as in headings in the Word document. We will use this caption to search the headings in master document. After inserting several checkboxes, you may need a select all button so that user can check, or uncheck, all at once. Let us see how we can write VB code to handle other checkboxes. For VBA code you need to activate design mode. Select a checkbox control. Press view code to see the VBA code. After pressing view code you will see VB editor window pop up with a subroutine which handles the related checkbox. Remember, we have already named the controls from 1 to 3, so here we write for loop x equals 1 to 3. Within active sheet, the oatly object with name as name, concatenated with integer, should be equal to oatly object with select all as name. Save and close the VBA editor. Exit the edit mode. Now it should check and uncheck other controls.